What's happening YouTube? Mills back with another pickup video. I uh, apologize for the inactivity lately, but um, it's been a long two months or so. And in fact, I think it's been over a month since my last pickup video. Uh, but I have been picking up some things and I have been watching uh, a lot of YouTube videos. Um, but unfortunately, I haven't been able to uh, create anything new for you guys. But I do have some pickups to show you and um, some little ones here in the beginning and one giant one in the back. Um, about 900 pounds worth so just hang on and uh, wait till uh, you see what the uh, the big pickup is all right we'll start off first with uh, my new wheel here this is a driving force pro I believe this came out for Gran Turismo 4 I picked this up at the flea market uh, for believe it or not eight dollars I do have the the pedals that came with it sorry for my lighting by the way um, but it works great with the PS3 as you see, I was playing a little Gran Turismo 6. Uh, it works well with uh, NR2003. And uh, I love it. It's very accessible, easy to mount right on my desk right there. I could take it off, put it right back on. Love it. I've been actually looking for this wheel for some time. Um, and unfortunately, on you know eBay, it runs anywhere from, say, 35 to 55 shipped. And um, I think under 20 is probably the most I would pay for it. Uh, the guy was asking 15 and uh, I was able to get them down to eight, and I love it. So if you have one, leave some comments down below. Let me know what you think about it. I already told you I love it and highly recommend it. Um, I have some other little cool things here I want to show you. Uh, this is a Richard Petty Ertl um, 164 scale, and I'm not sure the year, um, but I'm going to guess it says right there in 1990. A buddy of mine picked this up at a local flea market for 50 cents. In fact, all these were 50 cents. Um, here we have another Richard Petty. Now, I already have this one, um, but he told me that they have different cards. As you see, this one right here has what appears to be a number one racing champions card on it. And this one has the 51. And they're both from the same year, same back, I believe. Dale Earnhardt. This one doesn't have any of the sponsor stickers in front of the three. This one does. So this one was actually marked at eight dollars, but again he picked them up for fifty cents each for me. So great deal all the way around. And look at this bad boy. This right here is the NASCAR acceleration pack made by Sierra. Uh, it has NR Racing 3, a NASCAR Racing 3, the Craftsman Truck Series, and NASCAR Legends. This is a monster pack, guys. It is huge, totally complete, awesome. I paid $5 for this on eBay with $9 shipping. It is massive. So... I think there's only one more that I'm missing these days. I think it's a Craftsman Truck game. Um, I can't remember what year it was. Maybe 2001, maybe 2002. Um, but I believe I only have one left. So that was pretty cool. Picked up Need for Speed Hot Pursuit for the PS3. Uh, PlayStation 2 NHRA Championship Drag Racing. And I'm not sure if I showed this in a previous video, but uh, Toko Race Car Driver 3. One of my favorite uh, original Xbox driving games of all time right here. Highly, highly recommend it. I believe there's one that it's actually a double pack with Toko Race Car Driver 3 and Colin McRae. Um, I'm looking for that one still. And uh, if you're still watching, hold on. I'm going to take you into uh, my garage and show you the big, big, big purchase. All right, guys, one last little addendum here. I did find a few other cars my buddy picked up for me at the uh, flea market. These were all 50 cents. Uh, from 1990, stock car, uh, racing champions. Uh, number 26, Kenny Bernstein. Uh, unfortunately, uh, number 42, Kyle Petty. Uh, number 21, uh, Wood Brothers. I guess that's uh, Dale Jarrett. And then two... Identical, Michael Waltrip's number 30.
So not bad, 50 cents he did well, and uh, excited to have these. Uh, but they are up for trade as always. Thanks again for watching. Later. All right, if you stuck around, um, taking it to my garage right now, and here it is, all 992 pounds NASCAR arcade. Uh, this is actually a job made by Sega and EA Sports combined, and it is pretty, pretty big. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to focus this in for you, but I found this on Craigslist, and the collector had about nine vintage video games in his basement and he couldn't fit this one in look at that uh, he said that when he got his house he had to move this into storage for almost two years uh, he was trying to figure out how he could you know, disassemble it and move it into his basement um, but he just gave up and he said that he decided to uh, put it up for sale he said he had it listed for a while and it just never sold never got any uh, serious inquiries about it so he had it listed for three hundred dollars and I was able to negotiate down to 250 and uh, guys let me tell you something this is a lot of fun uh, it's from 2000 and again it's made by EA Sports and Sega uh, there are three different tracks uh, that start off it starts off with Talladega uh, then it goes to Richmond, and then for expert level, you could actually go to Watkins Glen. Uh, there are some hidden paint schemes that you need to uh, shift in different positions and utilize the gas in order to get the different paint schemes. I believe there's three of them, to the best of my knowledge, and that would be uh, Richard Petty, Adam Petty, and Dale Earnhardt Jr. And I've read there's also a special hidden track called the Sega Track. Um, and you need 700 plays in order to unlock that. Now, this machine definitely has over 700 plays, uh, but I haven't had a time to truly play it. Um, actually, the guys that actually helped me move it played it more than I did to this point. Um, what else can I tell you about it? I can tell you that I'm going to do a full review on it within the next couple of weeks. So hang on for that. And um, yeah, so tell me what you think about it. I love it. Uh, the only problem I have now is trying to figure out how I'm going to reconfigure my garage in order to uh, fit it all in here. As you can tell, I'm kind of pressed for space here. So, thanks for watching. Comment, rate, and subscribe. And uh, I'll see you soon.